Okay. Man, y'all trying to treat us like the high school bleachers, dog. What you think this is? We got, we got. <laughs> I thought you guys just have three chairs in here. Yeah. I mean, we kind of did or do. Nah, we, ain't, we got two chairs in here. No, 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 that's all right, we're going to throw it up. Listen, now. the aesthetic y'all got to stand. Y'all nah, can't be all sitting. You feel me? All right. Let's get it. All right, perfect. Everybody, everybody who's on camera is on camera? Everybody. Or waiting for other people? Yeah, if you, we didn't stay, fuck it. Pull up, y'all. Yeah. Nigga, you brought the whole block here, nigga. Yo, bro, <laughs> I live in New York right now, so when I come back, oh, you, you gotta saying? pop out with the homies. You just gotta spend some quality time with them. Mm. Huh? Or, or, or they, they're putting them over here or yeah. something. Yo, pull them on X side. Yeah, yeah, just have him over here. Yeah. My man want a bar stool so bad. That's a, that's a stair, my G. They work. <laughs> like this? At the moment, I'm like, all right, that's everybody. I still see like five more out there. Damn. Yeah, that some people brought a sprinter out? Yeah. Know that. Where you normally stay now? You don't stay in New York? I'm in Atlanta right now. Atlanta? Yeah, for school. Yeah, that's about where I think most musicians go. New York is trash, right? Nah, it's a hub. It's a hub for music, but New York is definitely not trash, bro. Trash. Definitely it's, not trash. Yo. It's like, it, like once you made it, it's trash. It's I ain't gonna lie, Jersey trash too. Yeah, we in Jersey, Jersey right now. <laughs> yeah, it's Jersey trash too. Yeah. Jersey trash. I ain't gonna lie. I want, I want to go to like you got to go like Atlanta, Miami. That's that's where all the list spots are at this point. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? What's your favorite city? New York City for sure. New York City? Oh yeah, hometown. Damn. Yeah, wait to start. Wait till like three more years. Am I nah. asking the same question? You're gonna be like Miami, dog. No, I'm happy I don't live live here right now, but yeah. I love coming back here. Home hometown, home base. Yeah, it's my playground. A little homesick, right? Yeah. It's my playground. I have to come back here sometime. I ain't gonna lie, I never even thought you had this many black friends. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> I'm <Yeah>. hella surprised. <laughs> Surprise. Surprise. Oh shit. Yeah, I got it. Get an angle. I gotta save all my questions for the for once we start rolling. We ain't start rolling yet. I can interview you in the meantime. Oh, what you want to ask? Go ahead. How'd you get into the podcast world? Bro? I, I was in college and um, I was doing a DJ thing at that time, and then I started doing radio, and I just always been talking shit. So like, I used to talk shit about everybody on campus, and then I started putting it online. They kicked my ass off radio. They, they were not they trying to have me, but. It was like the right time, right place. Oh. Like right at that moment, niggas stopped looking at the 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 radio and they started looking at the internet. So like I was mm -hmm. uploading these things online mm -hmm. and it started catching a little steam. So once they kicked me off the radio the second time, I'm not about to come back. It's like getting fired from like <laughs> Amazon and keep trying to reapply. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like, bro, I got it. So I started doing that like in around 
2012, and like I guess the internet just became more popular. You know, shit, that probably helped you too. Like you know, just like even certain apps too, right? Mm-hmm. But the, the internet popularity kind of helped me like gain popularity, and then never looked back since. Because I there's one time I was like, yo, I want to get on Hot 97, like. <laughs> Yeah. That was your college, college podcast radio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Rutgers? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Rutgers. I, if you look it up, it's an old, old ass shit. used to call Campus Invasion. All I used to do mm-hmm. is just talk about who beefing, who fucking, who's a hoe. You know what I mean? They was trying to tell me, this, like, nah, yo, you gotta, this is how to do radio. I'm like, nah, man, I just know how to talk shit. Worked out. He's banned from my campus right now. Damn. <laughs> what you do? <laughs> nah, you look like you selling stuff over there, bro. <laughs> Nah. You look like you're selling stuff over there, bro. Just making music, making music. So how you get banned? Nah, we just too we're just too loud sometimes. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you live in the dorms. You can't live in the dorms now. We're everywhere, bro. Everywhere. We're everywhere. You don't got all these dudes at like at college with you. Sometimes. What? Yeah. You can't be mobbing on campus. I get them big man on campus, bro. We do what we want. You probably got a guy over there. What school you go? Wait, I don't know if you, we're not. I don't know if you want to say what school you go to. I go to I go to a college in Atlanta. You the nigga over there, ain't you? Like you're the top guy. I'm the I'm the big man on campus. Yeah. Damn, mad bitches. What, what, what where are you? Huh? Where are you? Like it? Freshman college? year. It's my first. It's year. Your freshman year? Yeah. yeah. Also, oh, you were really nice. I thought you was capping. I was watching them like music, but I'm like, this nigga's not in no motherfucking high school. Oh yeah. Because usually people down either downplay their age or they act like they're in school type stuff. No. Oh no. shit. So you, so you you actually going to college? Huh? Yeah. Man, kick that college stuff out of here, man. No. Yo, take it from me. I went five years in college, never used that degree a day in my life. I, I, I graduated with a degree by mathematics, never used it at all. It's not all about the degree, though. It's the experience. I'm 18, that is I'm a kid. I'm facts. Like, let me live a little bit. Yeah, but you're getting the experience with music. Yeah, but there are two types of education in this world. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Okay. I feel like the best time of my life was college. Like, it's priceless experience. Mm-hmm. Priceless. Like, I graduated with $100,000 in debt. And obviously now, like, obviously... When you could pay it back, it's easy to say, but that's a lot of money that I wasted going to college. But the experiences I had there, priceless. I ain't gonna lie, like that made me a man. I always said that because I I finally left. You know, you had to leave the crib, and then finally, like my parents wasn't just like over my head, like what time you coming in? You gonna do this? You gonna do your homework? You 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 get to make choices by yourself. Yeah, I have three. I have three years left, so I'll I'll see what it's all about. Excited, bro. You you gonna go online college? I'm telling you. Nah, I'm gonna do it in person. Definitely do it in person. Bro, you're going to be too popular. Nah, I'll manage it. Nah, come on, bro. I'll do both at the same time. Yeah? This nigga over here taking shots, man. Give me a shot. Oh, no, no, I, no, no I'm, I ain't do the intro yet. Yeah, g- give me a shot. Holy. Whatever you do, don't get into drinking. That's what you shouldn't get into. Okay? Stay indeed. with good habits. Indeed, indeed. Drink water. Where's my water? Where's my water go? All right. Uh, th- then afterwards, you can just do a, you can just do a countdown and we'll, we'll, we'll get right into it. You got a big ass team, man. Mm. Takes a lot for you to move around. They got you on rolling loud and shit like that? Mm. They got you on rolling loud? I don't know. Justice. I roll loud every day. Oh, shit. Yes. Don't smoke either, man. No, no, I don't smoke. I'm just saying we roll loud every day. Everywhere we go, we're loud. Okay. All right. Give me a countdown. We're ready. Welcome to another episode of Off the Record Podcast. I am here with the one of the guys who I've been watching on the come up in New York City. You know, I named him last year after I felt he was viciously snubbed from um, the double XL freshman list. And I think this year they confirmed you. You got you on it, right? I don't know. Anyway, don't know. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a freshman in real life, though. So we'll see. I can get the freshman class too. be freshman times two this year. That's actually fire. Yeah. I'm here with uh, the one and only Lil Mabu. Am I saying your name right? Correct. Yeah, okay. Mabu. Yo, when I first got introduced to you, um, like, I, I don't know if it was just organic. I think it obviously was organic, but it's just like everybody was saying something different about you, right? So I see, the, I see this kid, and I'm going to be honest with you. You can rap. Like, there's, there's some lyrical dexterity um, which I which I always listen to like drill rappers. I'm like, if only these motherfuckers could pronounce their words. You know what I mean? They could be a lot better. But I want to hear your story uh, because you supposedly are actually like you're in college now. You're a freshman, as you said, right? Correct. Yeah. So your whole come up to this point, you're in high school making music. Yes, I was in high school. Yeah. 
Okay, so tell me how you got into music. Like, how did you kind of grow up and how did you even get to this point? Because obviously, like, you know, people like me, we see the viral success and you're pretty good at manipulating or working the internet to go viral a lot. But how did you get into music even in the first place? Yeah, I mean, I've always been growing up in New York City, an Italian household. As far as music goes, you already know my father was blasting. Is that Pops? Yeah, it's my father. Oh, Pops is yeah. in the building. Okay. So, yeah, so you already know he was blasting Frank Sinatra. And if you say you're Italian and you didn't you didn't listen to Frank Sinatra, you might get your Italian card revoked. Yeah, so that yeah. was going that was blasting around the house. In like middle school, I was just rap battling my friends. You know, I was like ten years old. Just Which one of these guys violent. you rap battling? Huh? I, who you was rap battling now? These guys. Any of these guys? Yeah, we rap battle sometimes. You probably smoke them. I could tell. Okay, continue. <laughs> but yeah, I was just violating people in the lunchroom, in the in PE class, <laughs> and I just liked that reaction I got out of them, and. I just fell in love with it, and then it wasn't until I graduated middle school that I dropped my first song on SoundCloud and put it out. Now, if if if, if Pops is is you know you're growing up and you're hearing Pops you know playing Frank Sinatra my way around the crib like that's very nice eloquent music. Mm. All of a sudden, you drop on SoundCloud like yo some spin the block, run him down, walk him down music sounds aggressive. What did your what was your pop say at first at least when you start react uh, when you start releasing music or even making that music? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't the music he listened to, but you know, it's art, and yeah, he 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 understood it. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's actually dope. I feel like sometimes most people have like so much judgmental. Like I always say, like even doing what I was doing, my parents didn't get it till a check came in. They were like, "Oh, I kind of see this working." For, for sure. I mean, like. In a in a in a sense, that's when it got more serious. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, it, that's when it gets more serious. Facts. I mean, at first, you know, I feel like good good parents they don't want you wasting your time on something that isn't going to work out for sure. I feel like if they encourage you to do it and then it doesn't work out, they feel guilty. So it's like they want you to stick on the guaranteed path to success. But luckily, you know, I mean, they didn't. You know, they just forced me to take the one conventional way to. Reach, reach where I'm at now. You know what I'm saying? So, it's also good when you don't you have parents that um don't judge because sometimes yeah. like I've always said like growing up like they could dissuade you from certain things like if, if your pops was like yo man that's some garbage music yo what are you doing like because you know what I mean they could kind of steer you away if it, it's probably dope if you know he's open minded and be like okay you know maybe not what I would listen to but it is still art right correct. Yes, and that's kind of like how it was, right? Yeah, especially for my, especially for my pops. Mm. My mom was caught by surprise. Yeah, a little yeah, yeah. Bit, you know, probably like, yo, we got to start researching some of his friends, some background <laughs> checks. Let's see what's going on. Hey, but listen, it's, things are falling into place, and the future's bright. So, so you, you drop your first song in middle school. What are you even rapping about? And and, and does that does that song do anything on SoundCloud? Like, when did you start going viral? I say that first song. It was called Glue. Actually, what. I was on uh, my phone, and the trailer I made for it, I like started resurfacing recently. But what was I talking about? I was talking about money. I was talking about uh, candy. I was talking about things I heard in the music I listened to, and it was more of a melodic, a melodic auto tune style, and a lot of manifesting going on in my early music that I plan to repurpose in the future. Because a lot of the things I talked about are starting to come true, and that's a, it's a beautiful thing now to listen back to it. It, it, the more I found out about you, the more I was impressed. You know what I first thought? And I don't know if anybody will remember this name. This is how long it's kind of probably been. When I first seen you, I was like, this might be the Slim Jesus of New York City, like drill music. Yeah, you remember that name? And, and for me, it was like, okay, I'm, I'm wondering if what he's doing is, is he going to go down the artistic route? Where it's like, hey, listen, I know how to rap, but I'm, I'm creating art here. Or... I'm going to, what Slim Jesus did was like, he basically was at least acting like a tough guy. You get what I mean? Which I don't think he was that talented and it fizzled out. So there's like multiple routes that I think people could go. But the more I found out about you, you seemed rather smart in your approach in not only doing the music, promoting the music, but also kind of even managing your image around the music. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like, you know, you're trying to, you know, even portray like, Yo, I'm a killer, like everybody else, right? Like, I don't think, th that's not what I get from, like, just watching you on, on even on social media, whatever. W where does that come from? Um, I'm just me. I, I'm, I'm Mabu. Like, I just 
talk about what I want to talk about and make music, and I love it. And that's just what I do. And I just, I'll continue to do that. And everybody who fuck with it, I appreciate it. You start to get a lot of hate. And, and I, don't, I don't know if you noticed it. Like, when you were first coming up, I, I seen, like, on the Daily Mail, they wrote something. They were like, yo, this kid making New York, uh, New York Drill is a privileged kid that goes to a $60,000 a year private school, and his dad is a billionaire. And, and, and really, like that's an art. That's really a hit piece trying to discredit you, right? Basically saying, this isn't a guy that normally makes this type of music because he doesn't come from poverty or he doesn't come from broken homes. He's a privileged kid that's kind of cosplaying as one of these guys. What did you think when you saw like articles like You're that? That's what we, that's what they thought. Yeah, th- that's what they thought. Yeah. What did you think about like articles like that or people even saying that? Like even even that being a conversation at all? I thought it was. I thought it was comedic. A little bit. I got a good laugh out of it. And um, I would say Daily Mail, like, really? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yeah New York Post was trying to come at you, too. <laughs> Did you see New York Post? Yeah, yeah. I saw that. You, you probably seen it. Well, yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> but well, what do you think? Like, well, what's, what's true with what they said? What's not true? And what is your interpretation? Because I think, you know, you know, as you just said, you're just being you. For them, they feel like you're, you're you're trying to be a caricature, right? Like you're cosplaying. Yeah. Um, so I guess I'm asking you, like, j- just at least address w- all the things they said they, in those articles. Because they, don't, well, I, didn't, I don't honestly sit down and analyze and read. Mm-hmm. I just know that shit was bullshit, and they tell it like they ain't, and it's not the first time that they've done shit like that. Or any media outlet that's written about me has done something like that. Mm-hmm. But. Yeah, it's not much to talk. Not much. Not much to talk about there. It's just some bullshit. I, the, actually, it's funny how that all came about with the whole um, just articles during that period of time. Was like right before I graduated high school. There was an organization in my school that was compiled of mothers who tried to expel me because they thought I was a danger to the school. And they put really? together yes, and they put together a group called Undercover Mothers and wanted me to get the fuck out of there because they thought I was bringing danger and you know. Kind of like, just not a not a good look. I mean, they talking about in the article. You'll see one of the mothers was like, "This school used to be about Greek and Latin, and now it's you know rap and violence." And this is, yeah, their kids love me more than they did. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Some, and, sometimes but, criticism and people believe in criticism stems from. It's kind of like when, like, put it like this: you bring anybody who's famous, they, they, they go like this, and somebody's gonna be like, "Yo, that nigga's Illuminati. I knew it. Like, that's the only reason he sold his soul. That's the only reason why he's on." It's easy for people who haven't really seen success to believe that when someone is on, they've had like a really easy path or compromise their morals or integrity. For example, like. Like, there's actually a, I don't know if you've seen, there's a rumor that your father, like, is, like, some big wig in the music industry. I don't, I don't even know him. But, like, your, your father just hit a button and that's why you're on, right? Which basically discredited the fact that you got talent, discredited the fact that you're super smart in knowing how to work social media and other things to really get ahead. They're just saying that your father just hit one button and you're a superstar. If, if I put, like, somebody put a gun... My dad's head, he could have named three rap songs. Like, that's, I, we laughed at that one. Mm. But I actually take it as a compliment because that whole, you know, discrediting factor of trying to say my father is somebody in the industry, like, I take that as a compliment because that's one of the only things people have to say about me. And when that gets debunked, it's like, what else now? You know? Yeah. It seems to be the major, the major uh, finger pointed at me right now. Yeah, it's, it's going to be. You know, you know. Somebody told me something once. They said, "Listen, they're always gonna say something about you if you're successful. And if the biggest thing they got to say about you really ain't shit, you're lucky. Because as time goes on, they're gonna try to find more, or they're gonna make up some shit. So I, I don't really think that's like a big deal. But 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 obviously, you know, I think that's for the naysayers who want to believe that you didn't get here on just talent and merit. Um, so I don't just, I don't blame them either. Because what is there really about me? Online, I'm very private. I don't talk about certain things that don't need to be talked about. So I let them talk, and I do mean. I sit back and laugh. So fill, fill us in on the story, right, on at least how you got to here. So after you dropped your first song in, in, in middle school, so you did a trailer back then. Damn, it's kind of crazy. Like, at this point, you got to, like, be doing trailers and TikToks. Well, trailers don't even exist anymore, really. But you got to do, like, TikToks, and you're from that era where— you have to be doing that type of, you know what I mean, 
type of stuff to kind of get your song to get some traction, right? I guess so. At that point, that's all I knew. I'm just a little, you know, tech savvy kid at home, my phone, making music on my mom's laptop. And that was the means of, I guess, getting your music out there before you were big enough to physically, like, go out in the real world and network and whatnot. So, yeah. So you start dropping music, then are you consistently dropping? Like, what feedback are you getting? Are you good at that point? Yeah, I, I, I dropped the first song I really made. The first track I fully laid down, I just put out on SoundCloud. And it, I was, it starts off as your friends, and it was positive feedback, and everybody liked it. And then you hit, like, that awkward period where it's not cool. It's not cool yet, mm -hmm. you know? And then you get over that hump, and then everybody's on your dick. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I think that's the point where you're, like, going, that you, you go from, like, people, like, what is this? To, to everybody's like, no, this actually is dope. I actually listen to a lot of like some of your early stuff and and you tell me if 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 I'm right about this. I feel like you embrace a bit of satire in like I wouldn't call you um like you know how sometimes like Donald Glover did or definitely not like little Dicky, but like you, you embrace certain things like even 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 in the, the math, mathematical song where you're basically like, hey listen, I'm yeah, I said all that hardship, but really, people just wrote my raps, and I'm just an innocent kid. Like, I feel like there's a little satire with it. How did you get that? Is that, like, just part of your sense of humor? I think I lean into the joke sometimes. I watch what people say, and I lean into it. I have fun with it, you know? Lean into the stereotypes of it all. And that was really, I, I'm really coming straight out of math class, going home in my bedroom, putting on the headphones, and, and making music. And that's just what was on my mind. I was referencing trigonometry and making it cool, like, into, you know, like, mixing the two worlds of education, the education you get in school and the education you get just being in the streets. So that's what I was able to match together on that. Who'd you look up to when, when you were, um, like, you know, just coming up? Because one thing I noticed, even even on that song, you, you do pretty good vocal inflections, which gives so much life to a track. I feel like, you know, when you listen to most of New York Drill, most people, like, they, they have, like, a deep voice trying to do it. But you you kind of switch it up almost, like, every eight, if, if you ask me, which I think makes the track super colorful and makes you a better rapper. Yeah. Who, who did you grow up, like, kind of, like, and probably either here doing that, that you probably adopted, or did you just kind of come up with that on your own? I, it really stemmed from me just listening to other music and not seeing the, uh, not seeing the switching it up every 20 seconds on the beat because it gets boring. That's mm. what really happened. I'd listen to a song and be like, this kind of gets boring after a while. And wanted to bring something new, you know, to it and keep it interesting. So it's actually engaging to listen to and you don't get bored halfway through. So that's where that came from. But as far as like looking up to and, and, and listening, I mean, like Eminem, he's always talking about some crazy shit. He's a legend. Um, and yeah, like the Migos were the first rap group I really listened to. I can remember on the way to play golf with my friend Alex, and he put me on to the Migos, and it was like, the Culture album came out. Yeah. Uh, 21 Savage. Like, Savage my mans, yeah. Uh-huh. Hey, I mean, that's an interesting and dope palette of um, artists. Uh, so which, what song do you give credit to for, like, that biggest viral push towards where you are now? Yeah, they, they all played a part. It wasn't overnight, but I'd say Move It. It was my first record on a drill beat, mm. and I made I made the beat. I remember cooking you it made up. The beat. Yeah, I made the beat too. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I dropped it, and that was the first time I really. Do you record yourself too, or no? Yeah, yeah, I record really myself, for sure. For the majority, do you still do it, or, or? yeah, yeah, really? I, still do it. I had no idea you made beats. Yeah, I I like I rather I rather listen to a beat for the first time too, if that makes sense. Like mm. move it. I was kind of just being hands on. I wanted to like just stretch, like eh, make it from scratch. But with like this, with my producer right here, Mav, I feel like a lot of a lot of times people um, use repetitive beats and like and whatnot. And I like to just strip it down and come up with a concept first and and fill the beat in around it. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you write all your raps, right? For sure, yeah. Well, uh, depends. Yeah, it depends. It depends. Depends what I'm saying. Depends what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it. No, no. The reason why I ask that is because, honestly, I'm I'm impressed by. It. I think there's I think there's like some really dope lyricism in there, Thank and you. I'm like, 
that's why I didn't believe you were a high schooler. I'm like, small fucking not in high school. Like, I remember people in high school, like, they're, they're a little bit more amateurish. And, and you seem pretty well developed. So, you know, no, congratulations. I'm, 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 well, I appreciate it, man. I'm super you. proud of uh, exactly where you brought it to. I definitely got a question, though. Um, which, one of, which one of these guys is going to catch the fate of Blueface? Because, yeah, I got to fight over Kershaw, man. Who's Ray at? Ray be boxing, Ray got it. Uh, 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 no. Somebody got to catch the squad with Blueface. He getting out. He said been, he said been in jail waiting. You know what I mean? Oh, he's in jail. <laughs> nah, you know it's all jokes. But, but, but yo, how did that song with Krishan Rock came came together? Yo, I was sitting in the bathtub. Like, sucked no up. Yeah, and I was on my phone. Bubble bath type shit? For sure. Come on. On some, like, uh, Uncle Uncle Russ type shit. What I don't know, do? but I was in a bubble bath, soaped up, and I look at my phone, and it's like, Krishan was live, so I hop on. She was just she was just crying, and... and um, oh, you one of those. She was crying. She crying and you no, she, she was DMs. crying. No, no, I, I slipped in the live. I was like, <laughs> I was like, you know, cheer up. Um, With a heart. I don't remember, bro. I don't be this caring that much. Dirty Mac, so bro. I, I, so I'm on the live. I joined, and I just wanted to give her some, uh, some, some support. And and I told her what I had to say. I was like, "It's a hot girl summer. She's eating a popsicle." I'm like, "Take the bite of the popsicle, wipe the tears, and get some fucking money." Like, it ain't no, no time to cry about it. Like, Damn take that. those feelings you getting on live, screaming about, and monetize them, put them into a song. And then I stayed in touch with her throughout her pregnancy. And then when the time was right, and we did what we had to do. Yeah. Damn, you you a slick motherfucker, man. That's your type of game? Mm-hmm. You just wait till they start crying over their dude. You come in with a shoulder to cry on. Damn. Case by case. Damn. Okay, all right. So, well, by the way, but I like that song. I think Krishan just sucks. I am going to lie to you. Like, she's, she's horrible. You should have wrote her song, too. You should have wrote her part, like, amateur. Like, this is this is what I can tell. She's, she's actually not really trying to be an artist. I can tell. You're, like, I was listening to it even on the way here. I'm like, yo, your shit so- sounds clean. You're rapping. She sounds like she's reading off a notepad. She did mention, you're not going to say anything about that, right? <laughs> hey, man, like. The song's about to be platinum. I see 50 million streams on Spotify. Sure, yeah. I mean, some Your people. Your pops paid for that. Stop lying. Oh. No, nah, I'm lying. It's a joke. Yo, let me know when you can pay to go platinum. I'd love to find that out, bro. It's, it's, that's pretty much platinum. almost platinum at this point, right? Yeah. I, I, right? I don't know. Hey. So, we guess, guess how we made that song, though. Oh, yeah. Tell me something, mm. please. I was in my dorm room underneath my bed. Hmm? I have a studio under my bed. In oh, my dorm room. Okay, okay, okay. Saying came up with the concept, started writing the hook. I call up Mav, we lay down the beats. I'm on the phone with my boy Howie, and we just cooked it up, went to the city, and just got it done in like three days. So, really? Yeah, it don't take. Yo, you're cooking up like in your dorm room on some real shit? For sure, bro. I told you, when I came went to college, I said, I'm gonna have plaques on all these walls. All the, the dorm room walls, I'm gonna have plaques on all of them. Yeah, okay, imagine your pop's, not, your pop's not here. If. If you got a paper due at midnight, but you mm. got a dope idea for a song, it's four o'clock. What are we doing first? I'ma probably do the paper, get my brain in gear, and then do the song. I'll probably do it like okay. That. All right, that yeah. works. So shit, you're cooking up. You're cooking up some of these like platinum songs at college. Mm-hmm. That's fucking crazy. Oh well, yeah, are dorm sessions. Dorm sessions. Yeah, dorm sessions. So, I have so people y- slide. Are through y'all like collectively like cooking with them? Like y- y'all a yeah, we, we hands on. You, you, you help produce. Mm-hmm. What do you do? Mm, okay, you help with the vibe, the cipher type shit. Oh damn, that's like mad organic, yo. For sure. That's like turning a viral moment, which I think that's what you're good at. Turning a viral moment into a hit song and something that lasts. Uh, the song with Fabio. That, that that was also a clever one, and I think that's where your your lane is like becoming so profound is that you have a sense of humor and you almost walk it to the line but you don't overstep the line mm-hmm. like you know what i mean i like for example obviously that song like anytime you know there was a line that could have said nigga pretty much five it was up up in there doing it. you know what i mean and i think most rappers just not even creative enough to even deal with that those type of concepts to make some shit fun like how how are you guys even What's your approach to like even making music or even a song like that, and how'd that come together? He pulled up to my college. Re- you know he did, really? Yeah, Fabio. I do your research, bro. We we he came right to my dorm. We did a show for um for homecoming for my college. You so perform at your own college? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I performed. Yo, and you're then, the man over there, ain't you? 
Hey, man. <laughs> yeah. uh, so we performed for homecoming and then we just took it took it back to my dorm and we yeah we we cooked it up and then wait so you recorded your dorm yeah i recorded i, I recorded him too? yeah i recorded him in my dorm too so we just cooked the whole thing yeah right there right under the bed we make the hit we hit the hose into upstairs and we hit, make the hits mm-hmm. downstairs <laughs> this guy <laughs> yo wait uh, are you are you signed but like what's your label situation because i because i heard on one of your lyrics you're like you shout out my previous- label that's me but but what yeah. where does it go through like how does it no 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 i'm not talking wait guys i'm saying so when you put out music um what's the entity that it comes out through young genius academy but is the, you're not like universal why is it no you're not you're on universal no, right? I'm not. no I'm you're not. independent i'm independent i'm not really? under a label system no you're taking offers though right is you hey man what makes sense makes sense but right now and seems to doesn't seem to make too much sense. So pops look like he, he good with math. How, how much he told you you need for for a deal right now? Oh, we gonna we gonna visit that one that comes up. So, is it? So normal, I ain't know I ain't know if numbers go that high. I hmm. that. I don't know if numbers go. That high. Normally people don't sign, but sometimes they feel like they have to sign to like get to the next level. But you got you're, you're kind of far along already. Um. Why would you? Why would you? Or why would you not sign at this point or going into the future? Or is this something you're not even thinking about? I'm just focused on this album I'm about to put out, and for the position I'm in right now, it doesn't make sense to sign to a label. That's mm. just what it is right now. You know, yeah. I'm signed to myself. That's what I'll say. It's good to be your own boss, make the plays. I don't like to, you know, be under anybody's command when I don't agree with it. I just don't want to put myself in that position. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense, bro. Right now, at least. If most artists could, could could actually... So you own your masters and your pub, right? Yeah, 100%. You know what those things are. Yes. Some, some artists Publishing, are, no, no. the yeah, master side. Oh, you're making a shit ton of money, man. I was yeah. counting up your streams when I was coming over here. I'm like, man, 50 million streams only on Spotify just for the song with, with Chris Sean? And then you got like 178 with the, for the, I think, the, the mathematical uh, song. Then you have a couple other songs with like tens of millions, man. You're doing good. Thank you, bro. What, are them, you. what are them checks looking like? Or does do, do, mm. Pops collect them? Nah. I don't, I don't, I watch my money, but I don't usually check the balance, you know? Are, are you? See it wh- coming in, I don't add it up, though. I just, I'm focused right now. I don't really have time to check. You creating a song, I mean, you got mad money. What you driving on campus? Am little Bentley, little Rolls Royce. Where are we in last weekend? <laughs> Rolls Royce. Really? You pull yeah. up to the campus in the Rolls? Yeah. Lamb chop. Damn. What else? What else we pull up in? I don't know. Big body. I would hate burn. y'all if, 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 if y'all went to my school. I would hate y'all. Nah, it's fun, bro. Hell no. Nah. Bring if, the energy if, if to if the I'm campus. Your, if I'm not your friend group, I hate y'all niggas. Yeah. You just a hater then? No. Yeah, no, crazy. because now you you fucking up the ecosystem. How? I went to college. College, the no, no, no. College was about. It's the one place, at least in my life, that I, that I don't think people think about money because you're they're trying to put in work to get money. And if I see a mother, we're all on like the bus going from campus to campus. If I see one motherfucker pull up in a Rolls Royce while I'm trying to bag a chick, I just got off the bus. You just killed my whole swag, bro. Mm. Gotta be yourself. Yeah. Join the winning team. Huh? For you. Yeah. yeah, well, I'll just be friends with you probably. Yeah. Oh man. Nah, I mean, that, maybe it's good. Maybe they needed that test to see. That's what it, you know? She wasn't, she was for the streets. Hey, what have you, um, okay, so is this your first album that you're about to put out? Yeah. First studio album? Yeah. First you, do, you done a tape album. before, though. I did a mixtape, yeah. How did that do? I, it got me where I am now, for sure. Played a part. Mm. That's the one that had all the, the previous songs on it that kind of popped off. Yeah, it brought the whole city together, for sure. Mm. Which part of New York are you from? New York City. I'm what? everywhere. Like Brooklyn, Queens? Everywhere, bro. Everywhere. I grew up going back and forth. My father always had to go back to Brooklyn for some reason. That's where he's from. Oh. So early years, always going back and forth from there. Manhattan, jumping around. Okay. okay. City's small. So, so what, is, what do you think about the, the scene in New York? I think it's super vibrant and the youth is finally having this moment. I remember when I first started covering hip hop. It's definitely See, that's the song right there. Nah, close. Man. <laughs> it's the vibes, bro. Yo. Yo, my movie. Yo, I'm at. Look where I'm at right now. 
We got academics right now. Who that? Favi, Favi. Yo, Favi, what's poppin', nigga? Yo, Favi. Yo, what's good, nigga? Nah, yeah, I had to, you know, I had to give him the interview. You know, I've been, you know, I've been fucking with this music for a minute. I seen, I, I was just talking to him about the song y'all did. Crazy. Yeah, that's my, that's my movie right there, man. Don't ask him nothing. Oh, now nah, that's my boy, man. You know how pops get. <laughs> now nah, pops, pops right here. Dukes is a Dukes is a killer. Word. <laughs> yeah, killer. <laughs> Yo, man. Yo, you, you gotta be careful with Dukes. Be yo, careful with Dukes. Don't worry about Dukes. He's a killer. Yo, are you in town? Yeah, I'm in town. I gotta run and do this photo shoot. Real fast. I was gonna stop by with him. I was gonna come with him. Shit. Dad told me, dad told me he was in New York. You know when niggas. Um, come to New York. Like, they usually tell me, like, whoever comes to the city at the airport. Hey, hey, hold on. Matter of fact, well, see, I'm, I'm about to throw you in the interview then. Hold on. Hey, the song y'all did, I thought was clever. I just asked him about it. I was just like, yo, every time, every time it was like a part where he was supposed to say, nigga, you just jumped in, handle that real quick. He, yo, he was telling me, like, the story of how y'all made the song. Yeah. You give me yo. from your perspective, like, how, how that song come together? Yo, all right. Just basically, the nigga, he's a genius, bro. Hold on. I went to I went to his school. To Yo, I didn't even think school. he was in school. Yo, the nigga really in school, bro. I went to the nigga's school to perform. Yeah. The nigga was there. I bought him out. They knew all the word for word. I'm like, yo, how the fuck you go to school? And you like they all know you how it be. He said, Yeah, they be knocking on the door. We went back to the room and chill. He had the he had the studio in there. But he had it cooked up. Yeah, like he had the joint cooked up already. Like, yo, this is what we doing. I'm like, let's do it. it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Damn. My nigga, but you know, like it's not like like real, like real bond, real natural bond type shit with that nigga. I fuck with my mama. Nah, that's fire, yo, 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 yo. You gotta stop by. You gotta stop by on the pod, man, or pop pop out later. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I want to come by. I think it's time. I ain't been in like two years or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, just let me know, man, because you... We gotta, we, gotta, we gotta re-up. I know you want to ask some more questions. We gotta re-up. N- yeah, n- nigga, you, you went viral this week. I gotta, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta talk my part, man. You know, I don't really talk. I gotta... They, make, they making me talk lately. I know. You've been saying some controversial shit, but... All right, yo, I'm, I'm, yo, I'm, I'm gonna get back to my boo real quick. Here you go. Yo, five, hit me, bro. Love. Yeah, I'm good, bro. I'm gonna hit you. Yeah, you're crazy? Nah, nothing too crazy. You good. I'm gonna let you know. All right, bro. Hit me. Like, even that relationship, and you know, you can tell he got tremendous love for you. Like, he want he want to make sure you're good. Um, what other relationships have you kind of cultivated along the way, and like, how do they kind of help you kind of navigate all this? Because you know, being an independent artist, that's when sometimes you know there's gonna be a lot of people that's gonna try to do a lot of things to either to make you look a certain way or take advantage of you, and you kind of. Gotta have like you know people that could kind of help guide you. Is that what that is? Uh, Favi's my Favi's my man. He's he's older. He's been in it longer than me. I ask him questions, and I learn a lot from him. The way he moves, the way he you know handles certain situations, and I got a lot of love for him. He just saying we spent a, spent a lot of time lots of time with him. Yeah, he's a great guy. He's funny. Who, who else in um, like the New York City circuit? Because as I was saying right before it called, I feel like New York City is having that that time again, where it's like the kids is running the show. And I remember when I first started covering hip hop, everybody was looking down on what the kids were doing because they wanted everybody to rap like the 90s. They wanted everybody to rap, rap like, you know what I mean, like Nas and everything like that. And they, they didn't allow the kids to be the kids. And now, finally, we see with especially even Drill happening, everybody's doing their thing. And like New York City's kind of it's, it's back on a, on a major level. What do you think about like, for example, the Ice Spices of the world? You know, you have 41, they doing their thing. You have, you know, D things just got out. Uh, you know, clearly Favi and, and other people, you know, we got Boogie, TJ. What do you think about the whole scene? I think everybody's doing their thing. I'm I'm happy that we're kind of keeping it interesting right now. I think there are some low points when shit's kind of dim and not exciting. I just That's all I want for this city is just I want something to always be going on. No no mellow, mellowed out moments. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, I, I support everybody. Everybody's doing their thing. Anybody who's actually serious, has love for the music and... And, um, you know, from the city, I yeah, I can't hate on anybody. Really. Other co- collaborations, like, probably in the, in the tuck, like, for example, like, we would love to see you with Ice Spice, like, doing a song together. You got to troll her. Maybe she, maybe y'all could do a song. I don't got to troll. We, I you be trolling a little bit, bro. 
Like online, you be trolling a little bit. Then not like I be sitting in my bed on my phone with my feet kicked up like this, mad snuggled in. You know, I be doing what I have yeah, to do. Some yeah, you, be, you don't like antagonize, but like, nah, but I don't always have to troll, bro. Hilarious, man. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, sometimes with you said, you said who you want me to do or something. You, I, I spice would be dope. You fuck with I spice, right? I go, I go way back with her. What I go that way mean? back with her. Yeah. What that mean? We, you know, you know those, her? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you no stage her. I seen her. No, no, I, I, I just, I, you know, no, you know, no snitching. I've just seen her whole career. Like I was around her before she really took off. You know. Wait, no snitching. What was no that? snitching? You know that song that I made. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, like dude, I was about to ask you about that too. Yeah, she was in the studio. She was, was in the studio her, for sure. Yeah. Why I, you put her in the song? Um, it was we were kind of finishing it up a little bit. It didn't. Oh, she, you was just back into her. She was actually no. She was she was helping out in some ways. Like she curved I think, you. No, no, no. That was that was. She wasn't with me really. She was kind of with Dusty and you know? But Oh yeah, shit! Yeah. But, that, that's why. You, by the way, that's why your school wanted to ban you. Didn't you bring Dusty to shoot like a video outside your school? Yo, uh, if I was a concerned parent, I'd try to get you banned too. Oh, no. How'd you meet Dusty? My Dusty just being in the city, being in the city. I'm saying. Dusty's a dangerous guy, man. No, no, no. He's. <laughs> like, he's been, been away for a while. I have to keep, catch up with him, but I hope he's been good. I know he's been away for a while. Are you, are you ever, like, how are you, how's your demeanor, like, even around these guys or, like, meeting some of these people who you may have, like, listened to before you got on? Um, like, even, like, Bobby, like, like, are you ever, like, starstruck or anything like that or no? Nah, nah, we're all from the same city, bro. We all come from this, like similar cloth, just being in New York. Everybody's on top of each other. So it's like, nah, nah, not, none of that. Um, who haven't you, or like, who's the person who's probably reached out that you, you hope to get a song with that you haven't done one yet? Mm. You gotta get Drake on the song, man. For sure, yeah, eventually. When... You talked to him before? Nah, I haven't. Really? No. Yeah. Make some good music, though. I like what he has going on. The way he set up his, the structure of his 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 brand, his business. He's got he's got some motion. I, I felt the way when Nicki Minaj did invite you to the Queen Radio thing. Hmm? She she invited every New York rapper. Really? You remember? Like when she had like everybody pop out. Nah, she showed love though before. Nicki showed love. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've talked to her on the phone. Really? She's like you. You were on the call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did that conversation go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? How did conversation go? Oh, it was around like mathematical. She just showed love. She reached out. She's like, "What I got going on?" She's always watching the city. I felt like, real? Uh, yeah, she's the queen. Nikki tapped in like that. Mm hmm. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. She's legend. She's really legend. How about Fifty? Fifty Cent. That's another one. The way he did the, the, the acting and and he's he's very multifaceted. Now. For sure. That's yeah. like the definition of a mogul. Mm hmm. Would you want to do? Uh, you know, I, I see a, the, a theatrical future in front of you. Watching your music videos, I see how you're you're taking a different angle. That is just not like, oh, I'm gonna just have a music video with a bunch of women, or just me looking menacing. It looks like you know, it, it, it's very creative. Would you want to like act or do anything like that? Yeah, I'm. I'll 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 get into I'll get into acting beyond my music videos when it when it when it makes sense definitely music first but i'm, I'm open to it. i look forward spider-man you know i'm saying tom holland's getting old he's gonna need a replacement soon no you could do the spider yeah you kind of look I am, like I am peter parker i'm the real life peter parker damn yeah real life peter parker you gotta that, beef with that nigga then, man Huh, you know the first thing I do? You gotta take. Is he still like Zendaya? Take Zendaya. Take Zendaya. You gotta take that junk. You know what I mean? Hey, hey, did Christian really get that tattoo there, or that was fake? I don't know. Can't save them all, bro. She tat. She tatted Mabu's pussy. No way. Shit, bro. I don't. Go check. <laughs> I can't go check. What the hell? Yo, <laughs> yo, with this, with this, with this um, album coming up. Mm -hmm. I felt, let me turn my ringer off, bro. It's my Italian group chat. I gotta, I gotta test on Monday, bro. You bringing black friends around the Italian friends or no? 
Hmm? Do you bring your black friends around or your Italian friends? I bring my friends them? around my friends. Whoever's there That's is there. Bro. Uh, That's a great fucking answer. No, yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah. Is it is it um do they look at you and be like, bro, why you wanna do some country music, bro? Like why you Who's they? Like your Italian group chat. Like what's, country what's music off in Italian? There? Now I don't even know. What the fuck do Italian people do, bro? I don't, know. I don't even know. But like what, what music seems to be like Italian? Pop music. Some Swifty shit. There are a lot of fire Italian rappers that I'm for real? definitely for sure. Ooh, let me one. Like Shiva, I think I, I don't know. I think he's away right now though. But uh, yeah, there are some that are just talented as could be. The way they they can it's a different language. So the way they're able to piece the words together is just so. It's one of the love languages. It's just beautiful. I like it a lot. So I look forward to reaching back to my roots and you know. No, that's fine. Yeah. You, 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 the the thing I like about you the most is that. You're you, and then that seems cliche, but in this music industry, people are there's so much into a character. Like they're like, okay, I gotta be this, and I just can't be myself. Which is, hey, yeah, I like this and I like that. I'm I'm a little bit. That's what most people are like. You know, hey, that's why I said that was a great answer. No, my friends are just my friends, right? Like you know, what I mean, it doesn't need to have a full explanation. That's just what it is. No, it's most just, people in this game. They play a character, and and the and the character, even if they're rapping it, they extend it to their real life. So they're like, "Well, I told people I was a killer, so now I gotta carry a gun." You know what I mean? So it's like they're they're trying to extend what they are trying to portray into real life, get them into problems because it's not you. You know, I think what you're doing is amazing because you're you. I appreciate it, man. It's a lot less of a burden I could imagine to be able to roll out of bed and like. Other than your clothes, you're not wearing anything else. You could just, it's more fun that way. I couldn't imagine just, you know, you get what I'm saying? Like, that must be a burden. Hey, for, for, for you to, for you to um, become my favorite white rapper, you have to duel to the death in a lyrical competition with Jack Harlow. Set it up. Serious. Man. Set it up. Man. I think you got him, though. We'll Even see. though he did try to rap with you, rap, he tried to do some bars with Drake. I ain't gonna lie, he was trying to do his thing. You can do it on my album. You can do you it on my do a album. collab with him too. Yeah, you gotta kill him. With Drake, Jack Harlow, Jack Harlow, you saying? Yeah, Jack Harlow. Yeah. What do you think about him? I think he's kind of like that too. Like he's himself. I, I, I think that's what rap is. I want to see him rap more. I want to see him like that. What's popping? Like that yeah. was that's fire to me. I like that. Yeah. No, you're right. You're you right. Saying? I, I think rap is getting back to the the essence of where people like people for themselves. Like the, I mean, by all means, if you're a killer or if you're whatever, be that. But there's no need to portray or try to, you know, seem perfect or seem too cool. And that's what, that's kind of the vibe I get from, you know, most of the recent successes, whether it's, you know, shit, even Jack Harlow, you, um, a lot more rappers are just more transparent and just being themselves. Yeah, and that and that's what this album is about, mm -hmm. too. Like Young Genius, it paints the the, What's the picture. Young Genius, Young album. Genius, ah, oh. oh. fire. I ain't on the hoodie, you know. What? Oh shit! YGA Young Genius Academy. When are you dropping that? That is coming out very soon. Yeah, it's finishing up some records with people. Who? You gotta give me a name. Or tell me somebody's gonna be on it. I'll say. Fuck you gotta be on it. Well, well I mean, you're gonna probably sure. use that song. Another song? Maybe? Maybe. But I'll say, I'll say, I was just in Utah. You were in Utah? Yeah. No, you weren't. Where? I was just in Utah. Yeah. You looked up with YB? Yeah. For sure. How was that? It was great. It's a great guy. He showed a lot of love, bro. For sure. Yeah. No, no, I'm, 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 no, 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 I'm not shocked. I'm going to tell you why. Because I, I was in Utah, too. I, I went to Utah. I know you were. And, I know you were. And, uh, I heard about yeah, that. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's a surreal experience up there. <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> so how was meeting young boy? Just like meeting meeting uh, pure-hearted guys, genuine dude. Okay, th those things are true. But one thing I'll say, that, that nigga is not normal, <laughs> okay? <laughs> you just got to be, he's not normal. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's unique. He's very artistic. He's passionate. No, he is. You know when I showed up there, like, he made a song in, like, 22 minutes. 
and he dropped it was like the song Distant Charlemagne. Like shit was crazy. Like mm. he records really quickly. He's did fast you, work. Did you guys get to record? Yeah. yeah. Did, and he took his time. Like he really told me he was like, anything we need to we need to change ideas, bounce back and forth. And really? Yeah, we made a great record. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Yeah, I've never seen him in the studio with someone, but I've seen his recording process. I'm 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 kinda intrigued to see how that collaboration like I, I had no idea he would be like, okay, cool, let's bounce ideas back and forth. I thought he just like is on autopilot, just like I'm gonna record, f- pick a song that you like to hop on in. That that's it. Nah, he's a, he's definitely an artist. He cares about the final product, you know. Uh, I feel like a lot of artists can relate to that. Like the music being your, it's like your baby, bro. Yeah, he he, he does the next level. I see them record a song, twenty minutes, they mixed it for ten. And they shot the video in the next hour. This shit was crazy. He's quick. Yeah, he can be quick. Yeah. Is that your approach, like, even creating your music a bit? Because once you know how to do a lot, maybe not releasing it quickly, right? But at least cooking up and and not taking too long to, like, you know, stuck on a song for days or weeks or whatever the case is. I I take my time with it, you know, developing the concept, revisit it, (laughs) sit with it a little bit, let it just, you know, marinate in my brain. And then come back, switch things around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, sometimes it takes a while, but that's that's how good music is created. Sometimes, you know. How many how many songs are gonna be on this album? There's gonna be some new ones, for sure. At least fifteen. New ones? No, no, no. Well, just fifteen tracks overall. Yeah, around there. Around okay. 15. Most music I've ever put out at once. Mm. Ever. New music at once. Yeah. What are you getting for for a show these days? For a show. Yeah. I got a lot, lot of pocket watch. You take, know, you're driving a Rolls Royce. I got a pocket watch. No, nah, it takes it takes a lot for me to get out of the house sometimes because fifteen thousand. Hmm. Fifteen. Bro, what? Oh, okay, okay. Not to give you the low ball to kind of get where you're at with it. Um, yeah, forty five. Well, it depends. It depends on the venue, but I've, I haven't done my headline show yet at all. I'm gonna do it after the album drops. Really? Yeah. Have you ever done a tour? Hmm, I haven't done a tour yet. Really? Anything? Nah. I've only like I went. With Fabio at MSG, we did Mr. Take a Bitch. That was crazy. Just little pop-ins, just testing the waters, letting people know what they sign up for when they come to a Mambo show. It's going to be fucking crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's how I've been doing it. So I've been chilling on the shows, kind of turning it down, and then the album drop, shit is up. Mm. Like, go everywhere. Krishan had said that she felt you did a little bit too much, and I guess it was promotion for you. She was like, oh, yeah, he, she, he kind of dragged it a bit. I did do a lot for her. I did, too, too, I did a little too much for her. Mm. Yeah, she got. I think she went from like, what was she at before the song dropped on Spotify? Like, probably like hundred thousand month listener. Probably three hundred thousand. Something. She like went that. to like four million. Really? I did a lot. Yeah, but I appreciate her dedication. And I mean, she had a baby who had like a hernia problem. She's you know at the hospital, able to. She was able to discharge herself. Come to the studio three days in a row. Discharge herself. Drove three hours for three days in a row to perfect the record. Like, you know. So she did dedicate a lot to. I was matching her energy. I'm happy that I was able to get her a hit. You know, like her first like big record. I think she was also talking about the like, you know, because obviously she's in a relationship. I, I think she felt like some of the like the pictures and stuff that went up. She's like, yo, like I'm beef with my baby daddy now. Really, actually, over this. Like, did she ever tell you like chill out or like slow down? Nah. Or she kind of gets it. it. I mean, it's all promotion for music, right? Yo, bro. I don't know. I think she knows what entertainment is for sure more than a lot of people. She, you know, she knows what she's doing. Mm. Yeah. How are you normally? I feel like, who's coming up with like these like rollout plans for these songs or whatever. Me. It's you. I'm a water. You got a team though. You got a, a hell of a team. Like, are they kind of like chiming in? Like, what do they help you? I, I ask everybody ideas, bounce out, uh, bounce ideas off each other, um, and then. It's like a it's like case study. I mean, I'll be in college. I'll go knock on my friends' doors. Yo, show them this part of the video. I mean, that's my audience. You know, it's like getting feedback, critiquing it, um, uh, asking certain people, seeing whose answers align. Yeah, definitely. I involve everybody around me and just like the thought process of it. After I, you know, kind of decide something in my head, cross reference it. You know, I'm all about putting heads together. That's how the best rollouts, best music is made. You know, who do you think your target audience is right now? Like, do you think it's, like, just people, mostly, like, kids your age listening? Not surprisingly, not. I think seeing a lot of the, uh, like, I'm outside, you know, the kids, I love the youth, bro. I love the youth. They run, they run shit, you know? 
got to, I'm so happy to have the youth by my side, but it kind of skewed my perception of what my fan base was. Cause those are the kids like, you know, they don't, they don't understand. Uh, they just show their emotions. They don't, you know, bottle it in. Like maybe some middle-aged people do or like twenties. Mm. So, so I saw more kids react when I'm outside or, and whatnot. But when you check the analytics, it's really like 20 to 25 mostly. Really? You yeah. Check, you check the analytics? Yeah, 18. Like it's, of course, check the analytics. Got to know who your fan base is. But I think everybody, everybody could be in Mabu. Everybody could listen to Mabu's music. I think even if it's not the audio appealing to a specific person, like of an, a specific age group, the visual, I think, can appeal to, you know? I mean, mm -hmm. you could show Teach Me How to Drill with Fabio to a, a grandmother who doesn't like rap. And I think there are parts that will appeal to her, whether it's the, you know, it's, yeah. Has anyone um, taken issue with either you doing quote unquote technically drill or, you know, in, or any hating ass rappers that, that's, that's either tried to like, you know, say anything negative or try to engage with you? Like rappers hating on me? Yeah. Probably in silence. In silence. You know? I would kick myself too. If I saw this 18 year old kid make shit shake pretty fast and have all these these people behind him and supporting, I'm at, yeah, I might be mad too. Mm. I don't blame him. What are your expectations for this album to do? Like in terms of, I you clearly know numbers a little bit. Are you no, no expectations, bro. Really, I just had so, I had so much fun putting it together. I like put my, my, my time, heart, heart, blood, sweat, and tears into just piecing together the the best way to tell my story of living these two lives. Like, Explain. Like one in the educational world, like, you know, by day I go to school, I do what I have to do, and then... Are you paying attention in class, bro? No, you're not. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Checking your phone. Come on, man. Your phone's yeah, probably, like, burning hot with bitches. Like, they're just hitting you up constantly. A lot of business. I, I a lot of like, business I, on the phone. Yo, I would definitely not... Like, I... I can't imagine the pressure or I can't imagine how hard it is to still try to live like someone of a normal life and go to school and like almost be like this star. Right. I just have to balance it. It's not, it's not easy. You have to have some dis discipline too. A right? lot of discipline, a lot of not wasting your time on things that just aren't worth it. You know what I'm saying? Just, Every second counts, bro. It's 24 hours in a day. Nobody gets more than that. Last year when they didn't put you on uh, the freshman list, were you tight? Be honest. Nah, because I was going to be a freshman the following year in real life. You know what I'm saying? But, but, it wasn't my time. But you did the pitch for it. Nah. You didn't do the pitch for it? No, nah, I didn't do the pitch for it. Oh. No. Nah. I like that. Uh, I like what they have going on, though. I like the, I, I was a big fan of, what was the big one, 21? That was 2017, 2017, yeah, 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 yeah. XXL Freshman? Yeah. That's a legendary one. No, I think 2017 20, or 2016. 2016? Yeah, yeah, one, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's legendary. If, if they offered you a spot on the list, would you take it? Yeah. So it does mean something to you. Like, For sure, yeah. yeah. It's historical, right? It's historical. It's part of the, it's like the culture of this genre, I feel like. Did you see when I talked about last year and I was like, I named you. I said, man, I feel like you could, you should have been on it. You know, you did. The year before that, you know, you also kind of called me a culture vulture a little bit. Well, that's the first time I seen you. Yeah, yeah. And also, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't understand the satire. There's, there's some satire. Like that's why I think the genius thing is. Like I thought you were gonna come in this and be like a character, but I realized you're being yourself. And you're literally rapping like, yo, okay, I'm going to give you these bars that's entertaining. And in the next line, I'm going to tell you like, hey, listen, that was just art. Like, that's being open and transparent. I didn't think you were going to carry it that way. I thought you were going to, these rappers are liars. Like, just, just going to cap, just keep capping until you get caught, you know? Yeah, and also, I started respecting the, the lyricism about Thank it. You, yeah. uh, I think that's the thing that um, is going to make you a star. If you keep, if you keep making sure some of those bars like are sharp and potent and you could rap, you're going to catch the, you know I mean? A lot of older or like older rappers or just, just institutional rap is just going to respect you more. Mm -hmm. Right. It's not just about like, okay, great. You're making great music. That's connecting, but you could rap. You know what I mean? Thank you. Man. Would you do a cypher? A cypher, like, like freestyle, yeah, yeah, yeah. like XXL. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I would do a cypher. Oh, Okay, so you, you That'd be interesting. So, so you definitely you, you respect all the 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 facets of this game you're in. Um, yeah, I love for the game, bro. Give me some dream collabs. 
Man. Uh, I would say probably some of the ones on the albums, I think, really fell, you fell got in Nikki. place. Fell in place, huh? You got Nikki on there. No, no, I don't I'm, I'm fishing. I'm trying to figure out who you got. No, no. But I would say in the future, I don't, I don't force anything. I think a dream collab to me is somebody who's, like, we know we mutually respect each other's music, our, our come-ups, and we get together, put our heads together, and just come up with a hit. Like, that's, that's a dream collab to me. No specific, I mean, of course, they're, like, the obvious, like, the, the Drake, Drake makes some great music. He shows love to the city. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that, that could potentially be something crazy. Um, Nikki, Nikki is a goat in New York. I mean, I'll just tell, tell you like who I, who, the greats in my opinion, New York, which some I can't work with sadly, like the Tupac's. The, g- g- give, the I, I want your top five living. Living mm-hmm. in New York? Uh, it doesn't or have to be New total? York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh. It's, it's hard like a one. cliche. Let's hard, people always ask. It's hey, hard, you always it's hard to forget answer. somebody. It's, yeah, yeah, it's a hard one to answer because I think a lot of people are tied. Like I, me, I'm so mixy with my music when it comes to like listening to it. I'll put. I'll be listening to like No Heart by Twenty One Savage, and then I'll put on like Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells. Like, you gonna get some Savage on a, on a song? All right, let's make it happen. I need I need five points on that though. <laughs> Come on, what's uh, the problem? Yo, that, that's send the split the sheet Savage, over. The Savage, it, it's <laughs> my it's, man's. That's cool. I ain't gonna have him do you like I did Aiden. I'm gonna make sure no finessing happens. You know what I mean? Full circle moment with him. He was one of the the first. I live in Atlanta now, which is cool. But yeah, that'd be a that'd be a full circle moment. Mm, with Savage, Tony with Savage, yeah. For me, you, I'm, I, like I said, I was pulling up with my friend, pull up with my friend uh, Alex to play golf, and we'd play No Heart, Migos, like the Atlanta. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what about like you know some of these streamers who are like super relevant? Have you like you know either reached out? Or, I haven't even seen you done like you run, a live. Yo, show. you run it. You run into a lot of people being in Atlanta too. Yeah, like Kai, whatever. Yeah, yeah, Who like Kai, Kai Travis, Travis Scott uh, show. We I ran into him. He's cool. He comes from. He comes from New York. He's from New York. Yeah. Yeah. Facts and even even Twenty One Savage like going to clubs. I was outside. We were outside uh, some club in in, in Atlanta. Um, going through like the back entrance, and there was like trouble with the door or something. And I'm just like looking to my right. Yeah, he was right there. It's 21 Savage, Shiesty. Damn, did they listen yeah. to the club? You even though you're not 21. Oh, you a boss. Oh, yeah. Damn, yeah. y'all got no problems. I'm, 20, I'm 21 on weekends. 21, 21 on, on Friday, weekends. Saturday, and Sunday. <laughs> That's when I'm 21. Okay, and and I, I wanted you to I guess address it. So let's go back to me two years ago. Mm-hmm. But th- th- there is probably always someone that's coming into finding out about you, and that's a very popular thing that you might have an uninformed pe- person say, right? Like, hey, this guy's a culture vulture. Like, he's Italian. Why is he doing rap? What's your What's your response to those people? I think a lot of people say it without knowing what it means. So I would ask, like, what definition? What definition of how would you define being a culture? So uh, I think people look at culture vulture as. Um, you're only involved in the culture to profit and mostly because you couldn't have profited from your own indigenous culture. So they're like, well, if you could have done music that Italians would have liked, you would have did that. But since you can't, the only reason, and and I I guess this is what they would say, the only reason why you do rap music is just to make money and you don't really, you don't like it. You don't, you're not trying to contribute to it. You're not really trying to be a part of that culture. You're just exploiting it for money. That's what people would say. uh, The definition of it is. Yeah, and at the same token, they're also telling me, uh, why are you rapping when you could be an investment banker and a finance guy and a lawyer and like, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, which which way which way do you want it? But all I say is, um, yeah, mu- yeah, music, mucus, mu- mu- uh, music is art. Mm, mucus, <laughs> uh, music. <laughs> music is art. People out here doing country music. Yeah, like, don't, that. Lil Nas just, X just started doing, off doing country. That's a fact. Yeah, yeah it's true. Yeah. True. Mm-hmm. Country's a new way. You got to make a country song. I, yeah, I, ain't sure. you. I make all sorts of music. but You got to make some songs for the women, though. I ain't going to lie to you. Yeah, definitely. That's on the album. Listen to the really? album. Yeah, for sure. A lot of music for the women on the way. Definitely. Uh. Yeah, Club songs, type type vibe. Shout out to the Atlanta people. 42 <laughs> Doug. Do He's on the it? album. Fuck. You'll we'll see whose album that song goes on. But Okay. Yeah. All right, um, all right. So album coming soon. You, you, you don't have a date yet for me, mm-hmm. right? 
when you do drop the album, I want you to come back here. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? You you got you haven't done a tour yet, but you're gonna start probably getting out there a little bit more in terms of performing because now you have an album that's gonna be out circulating. What what else do we have to um, like look forward to? I would say world domination from the young genius himself and young genius as an academy and join up. That's how I say join the winning team because shit's about to go down. And then you, you're gonna take arms in there from um, that Tom Holland nigga and get him out of the paint. And yeah, you're, stay you're tuned, Spider-Man. Stay tuned. Stay tuned, man. Yeah, for sure. All right, yeah, a listen. Lot, lot to come. I, I can't wait to see uh, what ends up happening. I think you're. I think you're going to be a, an amazing artist. I think you're. Most most of these artists, and I'm not saying this being facetious, is just true. Most of these things are stupid, right? And I, I I think you're actually smart, very smart and calculated, and you you have a very savvy way of um, approaching social media, approaching marketing, and it works. So I want to give you congratulations um, for getting up to this point. And shit, I'm going to be honest with you. If you haven't signed really, truly, shoot, I'm going to be honest with you. I can't really see what much a label uh, would be able to offer you because I feel like you have the show kind of going on autopilot already, man. You know, get some good management, which I think you do. You have some good management behind you. You're going to be straight. You know sure. what I mean? So sure. listen, man, I, 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 I want to see your rise to the top, my brother. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. You got to build a good team. Exactly. And just... Yeah, don't get, don't get swayed. Stay ten toes and focus, and just be calculated. Mm. Be very calculated and be intentional with everything you do, and stay consistent. All right, man. Listen, uh, thank you, Lil Mabu, for coming on here. I've I've been wanting to have you on the show, and I'm glad I finally did. Hopefully, this is one of many. We'll talk to you again after you drop the album. Kind of recap what what that's doing in the streets, and Mm. you know, we'll just kind of keep this stuff moving, man. Appreciate you, my brother. All right, man.